Hi, I'm Arlene and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the preeminent brand and the perfumes are called preeminence. So I have three perfumes from the brand, one oil, and one of the perfumes is a rebuy. So hello and welcome to my glorious game. I'm so glad you're here with me. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Of course, I need you to press on that um, thumbs up and leave hashtag glorious game in the comments. So we're going to get into this brand. I ordered um, this a uh, couple of weeks ago or maybe a week and a half ago and it came in. This is a black owned brand. The perfumer's name is Angelo Austin and he lives here in Detroit. So I don't know if he's a native of Detroit, but his brand is set up in Detroit, right in the city. So let's see, I took it out of the box, but I did not open the package. So I have some scissors here. Now, I had his most popular fragrance, which is called Orgasm, and I gave that to a friend because she really liked it, and so, I'm smelling something. Is it the oil? If this is the oil, the oil does not smell like what I remember. But his fragrances have a lot of oil in it. This should be the oil. And the oil is bougie. Or the name of the oil is bougie. So bougie has notes of cucumber, melon, jasmine, amber, orchid, and white and green tea this is the fragrance that i really liked from the brand more so than his most popular fragrance i wish he had put this in a full bottle or in not not even a 3.4 ounce bottle but like a 50 mil or at least a 30 mil so i end up buying two of the bougies And I did use up the first one I got. I really enjoyed it. And I don't know what's on this. Okay. So, I'm going to, since I'm smelling this, I'm going to pull out the oil. And it comes in a roller ball. Okay, so this smells very similar to what I remember. And like I said, I bought two. So these are the two bougie tin mills that I bought. So I was like, at least I have 20 meals. So that should last me a little while with all the other fragrances that I have. I'm gonna let that dry down because what I remember about the bougie fragrance, it was like I put it on and I went to a, I don't know if it was breakfast or brunch or something, but I know I was at a conference 
And while I was sitting there, I kept smelling something. I just kept getting whiffs of it. And I was like, I thought it was the person next to me. And I was like, I don't know what she got on, but that smells good. So I just kept getting the whiffs, getting the whiffs. And so, you know, you kind of, and I was like, oh, it may not be her. So then I was like, where is it coming from? It smells so nice. It was me. Now, I don't remember if I had it for a while and it, and it kind of matured. But right now, I'm going to say I'm not getting the magic that I had the first time that I smelled it. So, I'm going to spray both of them. And we're going to see. Okay, so the next fragrance that I got is called Charisma. I do think he has this. Is this leaking? Yeah. I do think he has this in a full bottle. And they, I, if I remember right, they have like a quiz you can do to try to figure out which fragrance would fit your fragrance profile. But this is Charisma. So. And he has oils in the roller ball that comes with the fragrances. And you also can get... Um, lotions. I do have the lotion for orgasm, which is a like a coconut scent. Now this one is different. The notes in Charisma, it is mango, amber, coconut, lavender, patchouli, vanilla, rose, mandarin. And it says it's a floral, fruity cypress. But I thought cypress fragrances had moss in it. Mm. I'm not sure about this one. This one is coming across floral and... I'm not getting the mango and the coconut, and I thought I would get a lot of sweetness. What I think I'm getting is lavender. It's almost a bit medicinal to me. Or herbal, not medicinal, herbal. Oh, there it goes. It had to sit there for a while. The bougie, I like it. It's something about it. And I think it's the tea mixed with the other fragrances in the bougie. It's like a, a gentle sweetness about the fragrance. And it must be a bit aromatic because like I said, when I was sitting there, I just kidding, I just kept getting whiffs of it and I was like, oh, that is so pretty. Yes, I like bougie. We're gonna see about charisma. I'm going to let it sit a while and see what it develops into. And the next one that I have is Tasteful. Tasteful is actually marked down on his site. I guess he might be getting rid of this um, fragrance. Or maybe they're changing something about it. I'm not sure. But it is marked down. Ooh, 
that's bright and pretty. So tasteful is a gourmand. It has grapefruit, sugar, mandarin, orange, or mandarin orange, and vanilla. Tasteful is bright, playful. It will almost put you in the mind of a body splash or spray body mist. But of course, it's a perfume. I like this one. And it seems like it has like a, a powdery sweetness about it. It's kind of creamy. I like this one. This one is fun. Yeah, it, it, it's coming across to me like a, um, almost like that orange vanilla twist that Bath and Body Works came out with a few summers ago for um, the sass. Oh, for charisma. See, when you, when you first read the notes, you don't see that it has rose in there. But when, because I didn't notice that it had rose until I looked it up today to write down the notes for you guys. And then further down in the, in the description, it says that it has rose. And this, the rose is coming out in here. And I'm a rose lover. But this smells more of a mature back-in-the-day rose to me. I will have to play with charisma. Right now, I would say I'm not really feeling it. But I do really like Tasteful. And I love bougie. This is good to me. Like I said, I got two bougies and the oil. So I really like that one. We're going to see about this charisma. It's lightening up. It's not as heavy and dense but if i i would say if i smelled charisma before i ordered it that would not have been on my list as of right now but of course you know i'm gonna play with these fragrances they're gonna be um on my fragrance tray at some point i'm just happy to be able to support a black owned brand from Detroit or from Michigan and when I look them up it's quite a few brands from Detroit so I'm gonna try to check those out also and see if I can find anything that I like from those brands because I never even noticed those other brands before today so we're gonna see what's going on maybe Detroit has a vibrant um fragrance community that I didn't know about who knows That's still that charisma. And I, yeah, that bougie does it for me. And like I said, the other one, the, the tasteful is playful. Let's see if tasteful and, and uh, charisma can be blended together and if I'll like it. But I really thought charisma was going to be a tropical type scent. I'm surprised with the mango and the coconut. I'm not I'm not picking up the mango and the coconut. Hmm. I don't know.
Well, mix them together isn't too bad. I like them together more so than the charisma by itself. So it may be charisma might be layered with something else that's sweeter, sweet and fruity. I can see that happening. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed hearing about this preeminence brand. If you look, if you type my name in and type in preeminence, you'll see my first video that I did about the preeminence brand. Actually, I seen my video or a clip of it on Facebook, my first one with the brand. But these are what I have this time. So that'll be my what you call it? <laughs> My thumbnail. And so glad you're here with me. Thank you a lot. Glorious gang. Love you all. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.